Our tale begins in a time before time, in the era of our earliest ancestors. Imagine a world where the line between the ordinary and the extraordinary was blurred, where psychedelics possibly played a pivotal role. Cave paintings as old as time itself whisper tales of our forebears possibly partaking in psychedelic plants. Some scholars suggest that psilocybin-rich mushrooms might have been a catalyst for evolution, sparking the birth of language, art, and religion. From these humble beginnings, our relationship with psychedelics took root. Moving forward in time, we arrive in the ancient world. Here, in Greece, the Eleusinian mysteries unfurl before us. These were initiation ceremonies that utilized a potent brew known as kaikion, suspected to contain psychedelic substances. Those who partook in the ritual recounted experiences of profound transformation, experiences that allowed them to grapple with and ultimately conquer their fear of death. In these ancient cultures, psychedelics helped illuminate the path to understanding life and death. And our journey now takes us across the ocean to the indigenous cultures of the Americas. Here, the use of psychedelics has been rooted in spiritual and healing practices for centuries. In the lush Amazonian rainforests, tribes have brewed a potent concoction known as ayahuasca. This brew, made from the Banisteriopsis carpi vine and other plants, is used as a tool for spiritual awakening. Its users often report profound personal insights and a deep connection with the universe. Moving north, we find the Native American church in the United States where the small, spine-covered peyote cactus holds a place of honor. The church uses peyote in spiritual rituals, its psychoactive compounds facilitating intense dreamlike states that practitioners believe bring them closer to the divine. For these cultures, psychedelics were not merely substances, but keys to unlock spiritual realms. As we traverse the globe, we find ourselves in the exotic east. Here in the cradle of ancient civilizations, the Rig Veda, one of the oldest sacred texts in the world, makes mention of a mystifying plant known as Soma. Consumed by the Vedic priests, Soma was revered for its invigorating properties, inducing states of euphoria and heightened awareness. The exact nature of this auspicious plant remains a topic of debate among scholars. However, drawing upon descriptions within the Rig Veda and the transformative experiences reported by those who consumed it, some speculate that Soma may have been a psychedelic substance. If this speculation holds true, it would suggest that even in the ancient East, psychedelics played a significant role in religious and spiritual practices, offering a gateway to transcendental states of consciousness and divine revelations. The East, too, it seems, had a profound connection with psychedelics. Our story now moves into an era of discovery and secrecy, the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Alchemists, these medieval proto-scientists, were busy experimenting with plant-based substances driven by their quest for gold and spiritual enlightenment. Psychedelics, though concealed under the veil of alchemy, continue to play an integral role in these clandestine pursuits. Even in the face of inquisition or heresy, the mystical allure of psychedelics endured, whispering of unexplored realms and the promise of profound transformation. Finally, we arrive in the 20th century, a time of scientific breakthroughs and cultural revolutions. It was in this era that the world was introduced to lysergic acid diethylamide, commonly known as LSD, synthesized by the Swiss chemist Albert Hoffmann in 1938. This marked a significant turning point in the history of psychedelics. The 60s, a decade synonymous with counterculture and social revolution, witnessed an upsurge in psychedelic research. Scientists began exploring the potential of these substances, not just for recreational use, but as powerful tools for psychological healing and spiritual growth. However, due to political pressures and societal fears, this promising research was largely halted by the end of the decade. Yet, the psychedelic phoenix would rise again from the ashes. Today, we're witnessing a modern revival in psychedelic research. As the stigma fades, scientists and therapists are once again delving into the potential benefits of these substances. Rigorous studies are being conducted, exploring the use of psychedelics for treating a range of mental health conditions, from depression and anxiety to post-traumatic stress disorder. As we stand on the brink of a new era, it's clear that the story of psychedelics is far from over. 
This modern revival is not just a return to the past, but a leap towards a future where the therapeutic potentials of psychedelics are fully recognized and utilized. From prehistoric cave painters to modern scientists, our journey with psychedelics is a testament to our enduring curiosity. We've journeyed through time, exploring the role of these substances in spiritual practices, rituals, and scientific research. From the ancient Eleusinian mysteries to the modern psychedelic renaissance, these mind-altering substances have shaped our cultural and scientific landscapes. As we continue to explore the potential of these substances, who knows what new chapters we'll add to this fascinating story. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and thank you for joining us on this psychedelic journey through time.